There it is. The Sacred Fool. Number 28. That really is a lot like the Fool card in the tarot deck. And it just feels like it has an even bigger punch to it. It says, imagine a life free from concern about the opinions of other people. A life where you feel brave enough, free enough, trusting enough to play the fool. To make a choice, even if it seems illogical, unreasonable, daring, or downright foolish. Cast aside sensible options and poker faces. The sacred fool invites you to live unafraid, to take a risk, and step away from the confines of what seems sensible and logical in life. Okay. <sighs> this is this is shying away from the skeptical voices in your life the ones that want you to stay reasonable and normal according to the circles that you run in and to do something different be unafraid. Let's see what complements this energy. Yeah. Bring love into this situation. Okay. New moon in Aquarius. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Pisces. Second week of March 2021. Empress. Wow. All right. Not messing around. <laughs> Three of Pentacles. Hierophant. Ace of Pentacles. Sun. Six of Cups. Ace of Wands. Okay, this this seems like like the dream. So what are you stuck on? Is this a thing that ended? So this Empress. Okay, I'm going to read this side as you, Pisces. This side as your person. There's the situation. Big on the Taurus energy here. Taurus, Libra, Taurus, Leo. Okay. And that spark. Passion. The offer. The 3D offer. The desire for collaboration, of working together, of coming back to each other. So I think there's a possibility that this is a thing that ended and is trying to come back. But it looks like there's beginnings on both sides. Getting big leadership vibes from this person. So what is the risk? Why the risk? Why the sacred fool? Oh, the truth is you'd have to break up a relationship with someone else that got comfortable. That used to be happy, but then got comfortable. There's resistance there. What do I do? What do I do? Okay. You might want to listen to Aquarius's reading. It's, it feels a little similar. Okay. Well. Let's expand on the Empress and see where we go. Because this looks like a dream. Why wouldn't you want this person? She seems awesome.
Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Page of Cups, Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups. And regret there too. Okay. The tr okay. This looks pretty cut and dry. Eight of Pentacles could be a sign of where someone works. But in, in this context, it doesn't necessarily have to be at work. It's wherever you, this could be where you do, where you participate in a hobby. Um, but work is the most obvious answer here. It's like this connection started at work and it was a truth that was not revealed. And you didn't reveal to this empress that you were her wish come true. You wanted to tell her, but you didn't. And now here we are. Three of Pentacles. Let's expand on the Three of Pentacles, please. Uh huh. Devil. Emperor. Judgment. Seven of Wands. Ouch. Fool on the bottom. Justice. Strength. Whew, you ran back to what was comfortable. Okay. So, this is a work thing. You either saw this person as a temptation and nothing more, or the connection did turn toxic, and you're the boss. So you chose to make a break from this connection. You bolted. Snuck away. Ace of Pentacles. Let's expand on the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, both of those. Okay. Three of Swords. Nine of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. So, you have been deliberating over this, offering this Ace of Pentacles to this Emperor's Hierophant for a long time. For a long, long time. Nine of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. A long time. Because she's a catch. Right? Doesn't need anybody. But she's got your heart, though. Good to know. Six of Cups. Let's expand on the Six of Cups. High Priestess. Magician, <laughs> five of wands, nine of pentacles, ten of swords. Oof. 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 All right, this queen of wands, this person you're currently with is going to get left out in the cold. That relationship is over. You're going to bring in this offer of love that's supposed to be very healing for this connection. And... Oh, I see what this is. Okay, so you know you have to manifest this reunion. And one of the reasons that you're dragging your feet on it is because you know there's going to be a fight. Of course there is. You messed up. <laughs> of course there's going to be a fight. And But I also see what's happening simultaneously with this, with this fight. The slow moving, that whatever the mentality was tied to the reason for dragging the feet is over. A mentality is over. Okay. And it, I know it has something to do with how you view her. Like perhaps you couldn't measure up, for example. Okay, let's clarify her side. Let's start with the Hierophant. Okay. Also the Wheel of Fortune. Tower. 
Nine of Swords, Sun. That one wanted to come out too. Three of Swords. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I'm getting that she's had a change in environment. That the only thing keeping her in the same sphere as you was her hope about the connection with you. But change happened for her. It's a little bit of anxiety around this because she thought her happiness was, you know, linked to you. So there was inner turmoil about making this choice. She's got the sun twice, though, dude. She's gonna be fine. Um, okay, let's expand on this 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 sun here. And it's funny how that, that giant yellow, giant yellow looks the same. Oh, four of wands, ace of cups, nine of wands, ten of cups. So she's approaching the end of a cycle. She and her getting through this crap has made her all the more resilient and strong. Hence this level of awesome that she's coming with. Okay. This Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. This is an entire loving, beautiful cycle. Sun, Four of Wands, Ace of Cups, Nine of Wands, Ten of Cups. This is her getting the long-term loving relationship that is stable, that is happy, that she's always wanted. She's going to get it. She's gonna get it. Ace of Wands. Let's expand on the Ace of Wands, please. <laughs> Five of Wands again. Empress again. Death. Ooh. Well, the result of this fight that you have brings in transforms her doubt into something all the more healing. Heals the doubt. Healing and transforming the doubt. Some Scorpio energy coming in here. Now that we have the Tower and the Death card, there's definitely Scorpio energy there. So, this, part of the reason that there is a fight is because it's the Ace of Wands that's offered first. Okay? Like, is this just about sex? kind of thing. So the going back to the theme, bring love into this situation. Situation. 